Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Banish Season 1, Mountain Men. Go ahead and get this loaded up. Get Edro loaded. Alrighty. And the worker's going. Let's slow it down to just five right now so we can get our bearings again on what's going on. People came adults. We are hack and slashing this area down, trying to get all the resources we're going to need to set up this next community. We have all the firewood we need. And we have plenty of stone and we do have plenty of wood, but you can never have too much. It's surprising how quickly you run out. Let's see here, this stockpile's already 84%. Got a lot of stone right now, but we are planning on doing a lot of building, so all this is gonna go away pretty quickly. Let's get this fishing community up so that we can actually get some food. Start getting a stockpile of it instead of just living little by little. Alrighty, first thing we're gonna want to do is get storage barn up and running, so let's do that, and we'll quickly clear that out. It's telling us our food is low, but like we said last time, it's because they put it all in their house instead of just leaving it in the storage barn. Alrighty. Stop another worker here. Prep out the blacksmith. We are down to three tools now. These tools are going to disappear real fast, so definitely want to get that up and running. So here's these deer all walking around here. We definitely should start taking advantage of that, I think. Got quite a bit of deer. Room sitting on the tree. I love the detail of this game. You can see these itty bitty little trees, you can see the mushrooms, and you can even see the little baby deer. I don't know where this person's parents are. Baby deer's all on its own. I guess it walked away. His parents are over here. Anyways. Alright. We've got the barn going up. This will give us a nice centralized location for all of our stuff. My laborers are probably aren't doing anything, so let's have them prep these houses, clear the land. That way we can get rid of that. Push it up, but... The laborers to at least get this cut down and moved up. Alright, barn's up and running. Excellent. Telling me my tools are low. Let's pause these because I don't want them to bring this stuff. Well, it looks like they probably are okay. Actually, why not? We have the stuff. Let's have them bring it. That way everything's prepped. And then we will slash down these extra things that grew back. The workers prioritize the house. Alright, well, we need to definitely prioritize this food then. Looks like they are doing that. Good. And I guess we'll get this all online at the same time. We'll get the food and the blacksmith online. Let's see, our stone went from over 200 down to 124, so. Definitely went down. Yeah, look at all these deer. They're all over here. We can definitely get some food from the deer. So we'll probably bring that online. Starting with after this. Let's pump these workers up. Get them going. Get them all done. So 
gathering some fish. And we finish up these houses. Two more fish. We'll blast on this fish. This fish is another really easy resource for us to get. This blacksmith up and running. And we have a decent amount of of iron, so we'll go ahead and finish this and have them start making tools because we're starting to get a tool epidemic already. We've got two people without tools. They will not work nearly as efficient if they do not have the tools. And it looks like it's our workers that don't have the tools. Excellent. So inefficiency right there in its finest. So it looks like they do kind of path like that. Path to here and then over. Kind of follow the path that they're taking there. Get a blacksmith working. One of these guys to a laborer. Blacksmith is up and running. He will be making the tools. Luckily, the blacksmith has a tool, which means he'll make the tools faster. Let's go ahead and designate a little bit more road. And there's going to be a lot of people traveling this. And then we'll kind of see what the major pathing is from here to here and make roads there. Yes, we know. The reserve of tools is low. That is not a surprise. Alrighty, so... The next section of our town is online. Already brought in 162 fish. And winter has come again. Have everything. Workers doing that. Another laborer really isn't doing anything right now. Here. And I'll have them hack and slash this area. Can always use a little extra wood around that area for us. Looks like our builder finished the roads. Crazy. Let's drop our tool limit down to 10. We don't have nearly enough people, tools. And there are enough people to, to warrant that kind of tool usage. Just because I'm all sorts of OCD. Let's do that. Chop down, what is our ages looking like? Got a five-year-old kid there, five-year-old kid. Here's another 12-year-old laborer that could move out. We don't really have a job for him, so we don't really need to. And five-year-old, five-year-old, and one-year-old. And then our new houses. We have two new babies. Excellent. So we're growing nicely. Our food is slowly going up, so it's not big deal. So it looks like this kind of is the major pathing right here. If you don't know, you can hold shift down and it gives you the shortest distance from point A to point B when making a road. Highly convenient when you're watching their pathing. You don't have to click a million times to get what you want. You just hold the shift key and you can do it that way. Blacksmith is saying we have all the tools we need, which I told him I wanted a max of 10, just because I want to use all of our iron and logs on tools, and we don't need them yet. Every expansion that we make, we need to make sure that it's going to produce more food for us. So 
still watching all of these deer. I'm thinking maybe that will be our next thing. Maybe we should make a hunter's hut now. So our food is low, but we already we have to over 200, so it's quite a bit of food. Maybe if we try to put it here. Deer that's normally up here. I'm gonna travel here and travel through here. Put it like that. Curves. There's quite a bit of an area. Sounds like a good plan. Put we'll that there. What child is born? Also have low food again. Like, like we knew we were gonna struggle with food from the beginning. There's some easy picking irons over here. Maybe it might be worth it for us to build a bridge. Let's see how much it will cost us. I'm gonna build it from here. Yeah, not an ideal location. Probably gonna build it from here. It's a little bit better. Pretty much use all of our wood. We do not have enough wood for that yet. since all of our logs just kind of got poured into that. Producing more food. I definitely think I want to put another forester out here. This is good primary for us to have more wood. Inside the circle. I think that they somehow know that, that is where you're going to kill them at if, if they get there. some of these labor children become adults before we can really take advantage of it. I mean, we can put our one labor in there, but just in case something happens to one of our other workers, I think it's essential to have at least one spare labor. So we're waiting here. Let's go ahead and clear out this area here. Need more logs. Got all this junk. It's just slowly growing. Let's go ahead. A little bit here. Outside your circle. Got that stuff to fix up. So whenever you have a worker that can't do their job. They actually default to a laborer, so even though we only have one laborer, we actually have three people doing work for us because the woodcutters reach his max and the blacksmiths reached his max. So they will default over to laborers. Oh look, the deer's in our circle and of course we don't have anybody to hunt them. We're doing alright for food, so we don't need that deer food. Alright, so... We were able to get a little less than 400 fish this last season. We're already at 300 this season. We're sitting in the summertime, so we're definitely going to hit a lot more fish. So that will supplement our food and allow us to expand over into this location. Maybe put a forester. Maybe this forester will hack and slash as well. Give us a good supply of wood. Uh, but I think we might want to overlap that come over into this area, we can hunt them down as well. Maybe 
build a bridge across this little water so we have access to these resources and hunting the deer if necessary. Definitely not going to build anything over in this area, unfortunately. It's too mountainy. Okay, excellent. Well, let's kick up time here, get these children to the ripe old age of 10 so we can send them out to work in the harsh world. The deer are, it looks like they migrate. It's interesting, the deer migrate back and forth in this game, and I think you can kill them all off if you uh, overhunt them. I'm not sure if they actually all die off or if they're smart enough to just leave the area if they're being hunted. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really seen whether or not that actually happens or not. This area. Every time you clear an area, something else always grows. So already these two things appeared here after we had already told us to clear this area out. So a nice open area here. We might want to build that bridge across here, or maybe build a bridge across here. That would be a little cheaper to build across here. That's yeah, gonna be a lot closer. Let's build it here. And, yep, that's acceptable. It's not that bad as far as how much resources it's gonna cost. Just a little bridge. Give us access to the deer that keep trying to hide over there. They cannot hide. They will die. And we'll put this guy's builder for now so that we can actually get the bridge done. Since we're not going to actually live over there, I'm not going to build a road to the bridge. I just want the bridge so that we can get across. And our tool epidemic is over. We're able to catch that fast don't catch it fast and everyone starts losing tools, it's definitely horrible. There's really nothing you can do about it. Let's hack and slash these trees now that we have access to it. Oh, it looks like the forester wants to force something. Where is our gatherer? Our gatherer does gather from it. Oh well, too late now. We're burning it. Burning the trees down. Oh, okay, great. All of those people just became laborers. So let's scale this back. We'll put I like to put two people in the hunter's hut. I believe that's pretty efficient. I know it says maximum efficiency is three. I prefer two. It's just me. We got 1,300 food, so we probably have the ability that we could expand out. I'm thinking that with this bridge now, if we built a forester over here, he'd build in this area, and then we could set it up to where he's gonna plant and cut, plant and cut. But before we do it, we're gonna go ahead and just collect everything from this island. Just from the island, because we can't get across the other side. I guess you can't go any further than that. So even though the map goes that far, it actually you can't do, you can't actually do anything that far. I can slash this area one last time. Get it all. Clear the island. Stockpile of wood going. We're either going to need to start a mine soon to get iron, or we're going to need to build the trader's huts. It would probably be better for us starting to 
build a mine. Start mining. These things keep growing back. Cut it all down. Get home. It's a nice little island. I just really can't do anything with it. I can probably overlap some of the trees. Really, one of the big things is I just really don't want the trees to overlap there because I don't want them to cut it down. The trees that I don't want cut down. So this Forester's Lodge isn't going to be really as... as constructive as it could be. Like, right there there's a little bit of overlap. And there's a whole bunch of mountain space that it's covering. Put it over here. Over here might be better, actually. I like this spot. Let's do it. Put it here. And then I'll probably build another little bridge over on this side since the bridges are cheap. It'll allow him to gain access to that area. Hack and slash. I don't like that area though. Let's see here. Yeah, he doesn't grow out that far, so yeah, that's definitely an option. Optimal area. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Put it on pause though, because we don't want it done yet. You can see all these deer here are outside of the range of that. So we can go ahead and put another hunter's hut. The food. Right here. With this forester's lodge. We'll be able to overlap all the areas of the the deer have been going and be able to get them. So we'll do that as well. And everything seems to be running well here. Taking our next step into being self sufficient. We now have fish. Fish is bringing in quite a bit of food. 827. While our hunters. Gatherer's hut. Still bringing in quite a bit more, so obviously it's our, our bread and butter. Our hunter's lodge is actually even brought in some medicine. We'll keep this up, we'll be able to get some leather, get a stockpile of leather up going, and we'll be able to build a tailor to help our winters. But since we live so close, like it's really, really doesn't hurt not have clothes. It's the one thing they don't really complain about. It's kind of funny. If they're not clothed, they don't care. They'll just still work. They just can't stay out in winter as long because they don't have the clothes. Well, that's really not going to matter that much because they live so close anyway that they're not going to... It's not. It doesn't cut into our productivity that much. Island Baron. Except the foresters have to keep coming out here. Right, so we cut it down, but I just want to cut it all out. Say so yes, I did care of it. And then I'll let them plant. Alrighty, so you see here the foresters are already out here replanting. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? I just planted this stuff. Alrighty, so the guys are here. You can see the deer coming out of this circle and into this circle. So let's go ahead and build another small bridge right here. Easy access for the forester and hunter. Gonna be placed in that location. Okay. Why don't we just do a cross? There's a little spot for it. So a lot of laborers get to it. Everything else is going good. Definitely will eventually come and grab these resources. They're getting low on iron. There's some iron over there. And there's some iron way up here, but that would require a bridge. Or it would require us to make another 
bridge over here. Really, neither of which is very convenient. A little bit of iron along there, so I mean, I guess I could go grab that, but we we'll really need to do this whole area. I think it'd be kind of cool to create a bridge all the way across this lake. I think there's an achievement for a bridge like 50 long. I'm not sure if that qualifies, but it might. So we'll definitely get access to all of this. Everything's shaping up pretty good. 600 venison right there. Yeah, we're already at 2,600 food, so we're definitely able to expand. I think a, I think a mine, after we get this next area set up, a mine will be in order. And that way, we'll be able to start harvesting iron. Because we're already at 45, it's pretty low. Alright, well this looks like a good stopping point for now. I will see you next time.